then we had a, another bill that was $800 too much than the norm again. I'm just totally shocked, really. We did find issues and concerns with how meter readers were conducting their work and overriding management controls. No, I'm, I'm not surprised at all. The average overcharge, $303. It's our hope that we will not ever see this happen again. A lot of us are living paycheck to paycheck just to make ends meet. She was slammed. All of her stuff exposed inappropriately. Cell phone video of a 17-year-old Helix High School student handcuffed and then thrown to the ground by a school resource officer. It isn't about race. It isn't about gender. It is about a police officer using excessive force on a teenage student. This is pretty insane. Probably the worst car crash I've ever seen. 18-year-old Giovanna Dominguez suffered serious injuries in a deadly chain reaction accident on the 15 near Miramar Road. 37-year-old Jeffrey Levi was behind the wheel of this Mustang, driving drunk, going more than 100 miles an hour. They helped pull Giovanna from the burning vehicle. But sadly, they were not able to save her brother or her boyfriend. So we all stand together for the one who has fallen. They stood with flags, their hand over heavy hearts, and wiped away tears as the remains of Marine Gunnery Sergeant Derek Hawley passed by. It's good because we're the community, you know, and she's not alone. And that's what's important for her and her son. Freedom isn't free. And this is the cost of it. We want to show support for our fallen soldier. You know, we're all part of a military town. This is San Diego. We're proud to be here. We're proud of our military. She's 67 years old. She's a very, you know, nice, kind, sweet person. My hope is he's got enough enemies in this neighborhood. Someone's going to recognize him and say, oh, that's that jerk. The attack happened just before 9 p.m. That's when the man possibly got impatient and shoved her out of the way. So I just pray for a speedy recovery for her. A couple of weeks ago, we told you about Josiah's story. Adopted from an Ethiopian orphanage when he was five, Josiah never liked the look or feel of a wheelchair. Pro rider Louis Poloni offered him any board in the shop. So they showered him with skateboarding swag, and the gifts just kept coming. What's this day been like for you? Heaven. It's his best birthday ever. I wish it could go over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Thousands of rock and roll marathon runners about to cross the finish line in downtown San Diego when police rushed by around 11. They're like, no, there's an extra shooter. I was like, wait, what? And then I like kind of went into panic mode. 4,900 athletes were rerouted for about 11 minutes. Police were able to take the woman into custody shortly after noon. Many runners say it was the right call and the safe thing to do to stop the race. 1199, San Diego police officers called for backup. Upon opening the door, they were met by gunfire. They got a cop, bro. Oh, they shot a cop. It was just gunshot after gunshot. They found the suspect dead. As you can imagine, it's a, it's a tough day. Nobody can imagine how excited I am, okay? I mean, this is an unbelievable thing. And I say this can only happen in the United States of America. 88-year-old Rose Schindler only had a third grade education when she was taken away by Nazis to an Auschwitz concentration camp. This was the first time La Jolla Country Day School has ever awarded anyone with an honorary diploma. And it really inspired us to give back and to provide her with a symbolic education that she did not have because of the Holocaust. The last thing her father ever said to her was, Rose, whatever you do, stay alive to tell the world what they're doing to us. If you have a dream, don't give up your dream because it'll happen. When you're witnessing in real time what's happening on your property and there's nothing you can do, um, it's difficult. Where the once picturesque Campbell Creek Ranch stood now sits charred remains. All of a sudden the TV went out and I just froze and there was smoke billowing off this hill toward our house. They escaped as the building started to burn. You have what you have. You can't look back. You just have to be grateful that you're alive, you're well, and that you're well enough to start over. <laughs> Cell phone video captures the chaos outside the ticket booth at the Del Mar Fairgrounds after a man pulled out a gun and started shooting Sunday. Okay, there's, there's gunfire at the track. It was just mad chaos, and it literally sounded like a, just a pop, 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 and they shot him. This guy has a gun. Look, look. A very troubled individual. As you can see, it's there's no furniture. It's, it's been really difficult to live without your things. Zara Kelly contracted Movers TransUnited Inc. to pick up all her belongings in April in Georgia, but they were never delivered to San Diego. I need to know what's going on. Two by two, chairs came in. 
up the stairs to Zara Kelly's Pacific Beach apartment. Jerome's furniture stepped in to help. Oh, it's so rewarding. We love to be a part of these. Oh, it is so wonderful. It's firm. How was you doing today? Doing good. Saying he's not guilty, Congressman Duncan Hunter was escorted in federal court today. <laughs> While at a separate back entrance, Hunter's wife Margaret rolled up to court to face the federal charges. I didn't have a lot of visibility on my personal finances. We are hoping that the public will keep an open mind. And we've got to stop this corruption. We really do believe they saved his life. For the mother of 13-year-old Keen Bray Hayes, her son's survival following Saturday's shark attack in Lucadia is nothing short of a miracle. We got very, very lucky. The athletic eighth grader was mauled by a shark at around 7 a.m. Saturday. Everybody just jumped in. It was, it, was, it was amazing. I'll never know what happened out there. We're thrilled to be where we are right now, but we still got to get him across the finish line and get him all the way better. And he's got it under control. Holy <laughs> Drivers slowed to avoid this small plane landing on the 8 freeway. Look at this, Bubba. There's an airplane on the freeway. There's lots of houses that way, so I know he said he made the turn towards the freeway, uh, knowing he wasn't going to make the airport. Do you have a uh, cross street? Uh, we're uh, uh, Mullison Avenue. Check it too, I think you will get someone else to see you right away. It's pretty much a miracle. I don't know how he was able to land it, but he did a good job of doing it. On Sunday, about 80 people arrived in Tijuana after taking a bus most of the way. You don't get to pick any country you want. You're supposed to go to the, the safe first country. Legal aid groups estimate 2,500 people are waiting up to six weeks for their turn to speak with an asylum officer. That's before the rest of the more than 7,000 person caravan arrive. We will arrest anybody that crosses between the ports of entry and then the rest of the justice system takes over. <laughs> When people are against the wall, they will do what they need to do. I came back to the room around 11 o'clock. Oh no, my cello's gone. These instruments are not only incredibly valuable, they're, they're, they're just part of us. John Walls did not think he was going to get his cello back, but she's back. I was so thrilled that there was no damage, not even a scratch on it. And so the case of the missing custom cello worth $100,000 was solved.